You are dead. Well, that was unpleasant. That jerk Jorgen got my suit all dirty. I'd like to give him a piece of my mind. Or take a piece of his! Mmm, jerk Jorgen. That does sound tasty. We, suffering serpent and the rainbow, Max, we've turned to zombies! Why are we standing like this, Sam? Oh, I thought you knew. <laughs> uh, bitte was? Zombie Lincoln? Zombie Lincoln! Zombie Abraham Lincoln? What are you doing here? I... I don't know. This doesn't look like the theater. Something different about you. Hmm. You're not wearing your hat! And he's got a body, and he's not 20 feet tall, and he's just come out of a grave. This isn't our Lincoln, little buddy. Do I know you? Okay, wir sind gerade anscheinend gestorben und zu Zombies geworden. Die sehen auch irgendwie cool aus als Zombies. Gibt es bestimmt viele Artworks. We're Sam and Max. Freelance police. Never heard of you. Yeah. You know us, Abe. Emergency elections, thrilling car chases, adventures on the moon, Easter Island. Ruining your reputation, hitting you with a missile, making you throw up, pointing and laughing when your girlfriend dumped you. <laughs> Ridiculous, all of it. Wait, is this one of those hidden zoetrope programs? Um. How did you end up in Germany? Germany? I've never been. Apart from my family's cemetery plot just outside Stuttgart, I have absolutely no ties to Germany whatsoever. Ah, yeah. Abe, we've got a friend we'd like you to meet. She'd be perfect for you. You're a lot like her ex-boyfriend, and I've suspected for years that she's a necrophiliac. It's kismet. Oh, God. You're no more of this. I'm a happily married. I'm a contentedly... I I'm a married man. Ja gut, ob das jetzt so gut ist, wenn man Nekrophilie an Nekrophilie leidet. Das, äh, das klingt falsch. Also an alle, die wissen, was Nekrophilie ist. Wenn nicht, dann googelt's nach. Also, hä, hä? How are you enjoying the play? Oh, it's ripping. But I was disappointed that Boothfellow wasn't in it. I hear he's quite the actor. And I was hoping to see him. Thank you, Zombie Abraham Lincoln, for helping us teach kids more about irony. Yay! You might not be able to catch the rest of that play, Mr. Lincoln. Wanna know how it ends? No, no, don't tell me. Spoilers. So viel dazu. Oh, der Bösewicht war reiner Segen. You see the Statue of Liberty and realize you were on Earth the whole time. Well, that sounds horrible. I don't know why I let Mary keep dragging me to these things. <lacht> Anspielung an Planete Affen übrigens. Auch ein sehr guter Film. Ich, ich gebe hier immer Filmempfehlungen. Watch your back. What? Why? Gut, wir sind jetzt Zombies übrigens. There's a bottle of holy water in here. Kann ich das denn nochmal nehmen? Holy! Jetzt ist er ein heiliger Untoter. Na, I want to save this after Max went to all that trouble sanctifying it. Okay. What happened? Where are we? Jorgen tried to kill us. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Mr. President, I can't understand you. Never learned to speak, zombie. Would have been useful in retrospect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, sir. The zombie factory does not have free wireless internet access. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> that depends, sir. In terms of geographic area or population density. Uh. <laughs> About 11.25, sir. We're open till 3 a.m. Uh, danke für die Info. Yes, sir. It is warm for this time of year. <lacht> oh, herrlich. 
I don't agree, sir. The advantages of a common currency like the euro outweigh any nationalist concerns. Ja, der Euro, ne? Ist, uh, toll. Yes, sir. That's very funny. I hadn't heard that one before. <laughs> <laughs> Schön. Good night, sir. What happened? I feel the original sin again. The holy water wore off. Did you make a no-no while I wasn't looking? No, honest, Sam. It just wore off. Um, zombie. What's going on here? Oh, you're the Americans, right? Thanks for the brain, guy. Hey, Max. We can understand the zombies now. Mm, it was as good as my Nana's homemade Kimmelspanner schnitzen. I think understand is a bit extreme, Sam. Yeah, okay. You were going to put us in some big machine, and then we ended up here. Oh, yeah, guy. You're totally dead now, okay? But we're the freelance police. We can't die. I know, eh? None of us can. It's extremely excellent. Okay. How do we get back to normal? We're not cut out to be zombies. Yet another of my life's ambitions down the crapper. Yeah, I could tell. You shamba like you've still got your souls. Das kam auch ehrlich gesagt echt unerwartet mit den Zombies. Also, was machen wir denn jetzt? What do you mean we act like we've got soul? No offense, guy. Lots of zombie kids thinks it's cool to act like alive these days. We call them zombies, but it's cool, hey? Hmm, die Zombies. We've got to overthrow Jorgen and get our souls back. Overthrow the hey what? No way, boy. The zombie factory's where it's at, friend. Na, ich weiß ja nicht. Don't you want revenge on Jorgen for turning you into a zombie? Oh, I was already a zombie, silly guy. My company makes experimental new drugs until something goes horribly awry. Drugs to create a race of super soldiers? Male enhancement. <laughs> okay. Hey, man muss Prioritäten setzen. Well, if it's all the same to you, pal, we're still taking down your head. Oh, okay. Save me the wishbone, eh? Hmm. How do we get our souls back? Don't know. They say Jürgen does something with them, but I've never been in the VIP lounge. You enjoyed the brain we gave you? Oh, yeah, it was delicious. He must have been really smart. Hmm. Sorry we don't have any more brains to give you. No problem, eh? The gang went down to the village to get some more. From now on, we only eat them from high-up gargoyles, like American style. Okay. So long. Catching you later on the flip side, zombie brother. Kommen wir überhaupt rein? Okay. Where was I sitting? Hmm. I don't want to bother him. It's too much fun waiting for him to catch on that he's dead. Der arme Linken. Schon irgendwie cool, jetzt ein Zombie zu sein. Excuse me. Eight bullets, chump. Hey. Oh. I guess you have to be a zombie to appreciate how good Flint is at killing him. The man's a consummate professional. All right, which one of you undead creeps is going to tell me where you got Sam and Max? Das kam unerwartet. Also wirklich unerwartet. Das heißt, näher kommen wir nicht heran. Den Pepper. No, not you guys too. Hate to do this, fellas. But Sam and Max always said they'd rather die than become one of those things. I don't remember ever saying that. Did you, Max? Nah, I'm pretty sure he was making that part up. Verdammt. Hier. I can't condone drinking, especially this stuff. Ja, okay, Flint Paper kümmert sich jetzt um die Leute hier. Oh, Zombie Linken. Zombie Linkens Gehirn. Guck mal, ob wir uns das schnappen können. It's what's left of Zombie Abraham Lincoln's brain. Eat hot lead, Walking Dead. 
Kommen wir denn da nicht ran? Noch nicht. He may have been our best president, but he's a total glass jaw against lone gunmen. Tja. Zombie. What's going on? The American came in suddenly, shooting everyone. He's a crazy man. What's the big deal? You guys get right back up. Yeah, but it stings. It'll probably get infected. Yeah. Hello, colleague. Da kann ich nur zustimmen. DJ Pult. Torment. So, wir legen mal was Neues auf. Aquarium. Bücherregal. Okay, was wir jetzt mit Flint Paper machen, weiß ich noch nicht. Gehen mal zum Kamin. Great, they're back. Keep quiet and stand still. Maybe they won't notice us. Hey, look, Max. It's vaguely ethereal versions of ourselves. Are they ghosts? No, probably just those soul things we keep hearing about. Well, what do you know? I do have one. Come to Papa. Yeah, I don't think so. Right. You guys run along and play. We'll be over here until our ride comes. Um, das klingt jetzt nicht so gut. You think a guy with his own dungeon would invest in more secure cages? Wir müssen die doch irgendwie wieder zum Leben kriegen. So, Jungsmonster. Looks like Jorgen was building himself a playmate. Rooting is more fun when you do it with a pal. Hmm. Maschine. I can't understand these. Therefore, they're not important. Natürlich. These diagrams are so scientific, I couldn't possibly make sense of them. Überhaupt nicht. Mhm. I bet my lifetime subscription to the 40 and times that that's an alchemy machine. Okay, Bolzenschneider. Like delicate piece of high precision medical equipment. Steckdose. Ah, oh, nuts. The batteries are dead. Wo ist denn Jürgen? That doesn't need cutting. Ein Ausschalter. Bringing life to this decaying lump of flesh. We mock death. We become as gods, rewriting the very laws of the universe. Mm. It lives. Our creation lives. Happy birth. Oh nein. Well, kinda suck the horror right out of it, huh? Schon wieder der. Ah ja, Jürgens Monster. Hi, Grusem. You're not Master Jürgen. Who are you? Mhm. A mob of angry villagers. Are you here to destroy me? It's nothing personal, but we've got to look out for our property values. We're just kidding. We're your creators. Master Jürgen is my creator. Well, we pulled the switch. Yes, and I wish you hadn't. The sleep of unlife was preferable to the bitter pang of loneliness. Das klingt sehr tiefgründig und traurig. Also... Hey, Monster. What's the Italian word for an appetizer? Antipasto. <laughs> hey, monster. What do you call a ham and cheese sandwich that's been breaded and deep fried? Monte Cristo. Oh, God. Hey, monster. Wait, let me do one. What California coast city is home to Cal Poly University? Hmm. Coalinga? Okay. Why so glum, chum? Do you have any idea what it's like being a misshapen freak? The only one of your kind? Nope. Uh-uh. It sucks. No one to confide in. No one to love. Mm, no one to smack you and tell you to get over yourself already? Hmm. You're in luck, buddy. We've got the perfect bride for you. 
Master Jürgen promised the same thing long ago. But ours is ready to go, right out of the box! No assembly required! Sounds intriguing. Hmm, natürlich Sybil. What's so bad about being a monster? Master Jürgen only built one. I am alone. You've got us! Please kill me. Yeah. What's your job around here? Do you kill stuff or are you mostly decorative? Master Jürgen created me to prove his ultimate victory over life and death. Never thinking that he'd have to feed you and walk you every day. Typical. Ha ja. Yeah. You don't like Jürgen, do you? Well, he did give me life and tried to help me feel complete. With self-help books and weekend retreats? Yes, but mostly by experimenting with the items on the operating table. Hmm. Your pal Jorgen turned us into zombies. What gives? I don't know the details. Uh, something about stealing souls and creating a zombie army. Why not an army of you monster guys instead? I'm a conscientious objector. Nah, done. Let's go introduce you to our friend Sybil. I can't go like this. What woman could be attracted to someone as incomplete as I am? Yeah, trust us. Sybil's used to guys who aren't all there. All the same, I must be fully assembled before I go. And I thought you took forever to get ready, Sam. Um. Yeah. Farewell. Aber was genau fehlt ihm? Die Hand? Nur unten kriegen wir noch ein Gehirn. Jürgens Monster. <lacht> Statt Frankensteins Monster. Wanna play Dr. Max? For the last time, Sam, no! Oh, with the monster. Oh, sure. Ja. Yeah. Oh Gott. Schaumfinger. Computerchip, Stein, Blumenkohl. Staubwedel, Schneebesenuhr und Artischockenherz. Monsterkopf, Monsterbrust, Monsterarm. Oh, hallo. Wie ist dieses Spiel, in dem man, also dieses Real-Life-Spiel, in dem man so... Dr. Bibber? Was ist das, was ich meine? Wenn man so einen Typen operieren muss. The monster is brainless. Genau, Gehirn wissen wir ja schon. The monster is missing a hand. Sieht gut aus. I can't wait to see him floss with that. <lacht> das passt doch ganz gut, glaube ich. Listen, brothers. Can you not hear the song of the Earth Mother? Oh, God. Oh, no. I've overslept. I'm late. I'm late. Can we hurry this up, guys? I've got a dozen foreclosures to get caught up on today. And that's just the orphanages. Hmm. Listen, brothers. Can you not hear the song of the Earth Mother? Okay. Moment. Yes, that's much better. I'd operate at a much greater efficiency if you'd install Linux. <laughs> I don't expect you to understand the reasons why, of course. Shut but up. Yes, sir. Und ich habe gerade noch vorhin was gesagt mit, äh, ne, als wir die CDs rumgeschmissen haben, da habe ich es gerade noch gesagt. <lacht> Wie cool. Hi, Grusom. Let's go meet our friend Sybil. It's a frightfully long drive, isn't it? Are you sure you want to go now? Ja, bitte. Yes, let's go right now. Quickly, before Sam gets distracted and... Oh, more switches! Well, I never travel without my belongings. Just throw them in the trunk already. We're wasting daylight. Thanks for coming, gentlemen. I know it's difficult for you to travel, having to carry all your stuff with you. I'm used to it. Well, until I figure out how the soul mater works, I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. I'll ask each of you three lucky bachelors a series of questions. Based on your answers, 
I'll decide which one of you advances to the final round of being my boyfriend. Ah, zombies! I knew it! They've come for the knickknacks! Harry, please. I'll have to ask you to leave if you don't learn to show some tolerance. They're going to break everything! And eat my brain! Nonsense! Sam and Max have just as much right to be here as anyone alive. Hmm, which question should I ask first? Dass sie sich nicht mal wundert, dass wir tot sind. What are they doing? Make them stop. I can't understand you, my good man. Diction, diction. Diction. How do you think you're doing? It's difficult to say. I thought a hideous, misshapen creature such as myself would have no chance with a normal woman. But that was before I saw the competition. Naturally. Anything we can do to help? Remember, we're not too proud to cheat. No, no. She'll be impressed once she gets to know the real me. Good plan. Sam, you grab the chicken and I'll start getting the other one involved in some kind of tabloid scandal. Hmm. What do you think of Sybil? She does have a capricious spirit I find most enchanting. Okay, here's a tip. Don't say stuff like that during the interview. Yeah. You're going to have to liven things up a bit to impress Sybil. I'm just the way Master Jürgen made me. Hmm. Follow your heart. Easy for you to say. Hogan? Good idea, Sam. I'll ask this one. Bachelor number one. My last boyfriend was a real jerk. I'm looking for a man who's kind, upstanding, good to everyone, and never cruel. Prove to me you've got a heart of gold. I love the spirit of all the Earth's creatures. From the tiny bean sprout to the mighty sequoia. The Tibetan. Yeah, let's move on. Same question, Bachelor number two. I am, as you know, the go-to performer for troubled characters with a heart of gold. Landlords, lawmen, gangsters, nuns, hookers, and pimps, I've played them all. Big phony. Got it. Bachelor number three, your answer? Prove to me you've got a heart of gold. <laughs> oh, I've clearly won this one. I'm kind, compassionate, and wouldn't hurt a fly. Hmm. Weren't you the Don of the Toy Mafia that put a hit out on me? Well, yes. But there were extenuating circumstances. I was hypnotized, and I felt bad afterwards. I see. Yeah, and now? I still can't decide. Which question should I ask? The... Zweite? 